What's up guys? We're spending a day out here at kind of Galveston. It's technically Crystal Beach, but whichever sounds better in the title is what I'm gonna use. Now I wish I was an optimist like Jeep, Jeep, my friend Jeep, not, not her, that's Bonita, but I'm not. And it kind of sucks here. First of all, if you notice all the mud on Bonita, uh, that's not mud. That's, I actually don't know what it is. If you look right over there, that stuff right there, that is uh, supposed to be sand and it is literally mud. So yeah, it's got like mud all over Bonita. There goes dad, he has to go to the bathroom. So yeah, it's it's kind of ugly. Look at all these ships. Some over there, over there, over there, over there. As far as beaches go, this isn't like the epitome of what I would consider a nice beach. It's kind of a crappy beach, but it is a beach nonetheless. I wanted to come here because I wanted to see if this was somewhere I would want to come regularly. As of right now, I'm not that impressed, but I'm gonna try to make the most of it. I'm not an optimist, I'm a realist. At the same time though, I do try to make the best of a bad situation. I'm not just gonna like sit here and gloom and say this trip sucked. I'll say this trip sucked, but I still had a good time. Like it doesn't matter if it's crappy here, the visually, the sun set on the ocean, it still looks good, so there's that. I'm a realist. I'm really looking at the optimistic parts of this. One of the really optimistic parts of this is that I get to make coffee. You guys remember this from a video a few days ago? So I found out what it is. It's a Swiss Army bread bag, but it also doubles as being the best coffee bag. Chemex safe intact. Got a coffee, got a Chemex, I got a cup out here. At the start, it was hard not to fall. Oh, it's ready. Yeah, that's nice. Mine is a tailgate, so it's like the table's already there, and then I don't even need to do anything. We should have brought firewood. We have it. I know. I was honestly disappointed with my first day at Crystal Beach, but after getting to see that sunrise in the morning, it completely changed my perspective. I set up the alarm with the specific goal in mind to have it go off before the sun came up, but my phone died, so I kind of missed it. I tried to make coffee yesterday, but um, it was too windy. So now, I have the Jeep parked the opposite direction, so it's blocking most of the wind. I can still feel it on my feet, but I don't think it's gonna get to the stove. Black coffee. I still feel like I messed up something. It's hard to tell, it's cold out here. Granted, it definitely isn't the nicest beach out there, and I would have much rather been on Padre Island, but it was still a beach nonetheless. I still gotta watch the seagulls fly overhead. I gotta listen to the waves crashing on the sand. And I gotta make breakfast and drink my coffee sitting on the beach. Also, if you remember the mud I was talking about the first night, it turns out that that wasn't the whole beach, it was just the specific spot we parked at. So if there's a muddy spot where you park, just move in a different spot, because that was just bad luck. <laughs> I don't have swim trunks, I'm just wearing my cargo shorts. I think you might be able to camp on this beach. We were camping a little bit farther up, but this one's a lot nicer, but it's also not as big. So a little bit of pros and cons there. If you're looking for a beautiful tropical beach full of palm trees and white sand and blue water, this is not the beach for you. But despite all that, it is a free place to camp. It was only four hours from my house and I still had a really good time and I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> it's thinking through. <laughs> 
but I would have rather preferred something a little bit more tropical. <laughs>